हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू अडेप्टेशन फॉर सर्वाइवल इन प्लांट्स वी हैव सीन हैबिटेट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स इन विच वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स विद देयर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एग्जांपल्स नाउ वी हैव टू सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स एक्वेटिक द टर्म एक्वेटिक यू नो यू आर वेरी फेमिलियर विद द टर्म एक्वेटिक एज यू हैव हर्ड अब इन अ प्रीवियस क्लास लाइक एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स आर दोज एनिमल्स विच लिव इन वाटर ओनली दे कैन नॉट सर्वाइव आउट ऑफ वाटर इन द सेम वे एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स मीन्स दोज प्लांट्स विच कैन लिव ओनली इन वाटर एक्वा मीन्स वाटर सो हियर वी विल सी first about aquatic plants aquatic plants have adapted themselves amazingly to survive in water they can live in water they can survive themselves there these plants can be further distinguished into three types we will see here some more types of aquatic plants that is floating plants fixed plants and underwater plants first we will see about the floating plants so students in floating plants like example duckweed water lettuce and water hyacinth are some floating plants most of these plants have a fibrous root this fibrous system this root system but they are not fixed at the bottom they are not fixed at the bottom of the water body you can see here water lettuce it is the picture of water lettuce it is one kind of aquatic plant their roots just float below the surface means down side of this area they flow these plants have floating leaves which perform photosynthesis by trapping sunlight and carbon dioxide these upper parts these floating leaves take photos do the process of photosynthesis they take they trap they absorb the sunlight and carbon dioxide chlorophyll is present in the upper surface of leaves and it is only the portion which is exposed to sunlight floating plants are light and spongy to facilitate floating they are able to do the process of floating the root system only help to hold the floating plants in their place next we will see second one that is fixed plants next our topic is fixed plant lotus water lily and are the two example of fixed plants some more are there but here we have two example they are so called because their roots are fixed to the bottom of the pond they are not floating they are fixed their stems are long hollow light and flexible so that they can bend easily with the waves of water and do not get uprooted their leaves float on the water surface so here next one is fixed plant we can see the picture of this one water lily this picture we can see it is an example of fixed plant next is hydrilla this picture this plant is known as hydrilla this plant are called underwater plants pond vein hydrilla and tape grass these are underwater such plants are completely submerged in water and have a thin ribbon like narrow leaves their leaves you can see very very narrow there is no stomata in their leaves they absorb carbon dioxide given out by the aquatic animal the animal which are present in the water that aquatic animal they give carbon dioxide for doing the uh, process of making food animals through their body surface to prepare food they take carbon dioxide from there and they do the process of their making food so these three example we have seen that is floating fixed underwater aquatic plants example floating plants fixed plant and underwater plants we have seen now the next topic we will see that is non green plants some non green plants you can see about the non green plants this is the picture of bread mold on a slice of bread you you seen a mushroom plant 
if no then ask your mother to show it to you mushroom mushroom plants mold and beech drops are non living plants that lack chlorophyll since these plants cannot make their own food through photosynthesis they absorb food from other sources mold on the slice of butter student you can ask to your mother your mother can show you the example of this type of bread sometime the bread is having molds and black color layer and it is not good means it is not for eatable so this type of bread is having mold on a slice of bread so you can see at your home everybody know about this so we have seen about some non green plants now we will see unusual but amazingly interesting plant they are unusual but they are amazingly interesting plant they are picture in seeing when we see this picture it look nice so there are some unusual plants like venus fly trap sundew and pitcher plant which eat insects these plants eat insects their leaves are modified to capture insects such plants are called insectivorous plants because they are eating insects in a pitcher plant the leaf is modified into a pitcher like structure you can see pitcher like structure is there on the uh, means the, here this is pitcher like structure is there the leaf tip is modified to form a lid which can open and close which can open and close when insect sits here then it close first it is open it is waiting for insects whenever insects come on the mouth it close once an insect enter the picture the lid close and the insects get trapped inside so these are the unusual but amazingly interesting plants we can see here two type of insectivorous plant that is pitcher plant and venus fly trap so i hope student you have understood this all the topic of adaptation for survival in plants we have seen here about the process of adaptation the type of habitat terrestrial plants aquatic plants and their type like floating fixed and underwater plants some non green plants we have seen with their example and also at last we have seen unusual but amazingly interesting plant so students read one more time this chapter from your book and understand this and one more thing you have to do you have to underline all the difficult words of difficult spelling scientific term that you have to underline and that you have to learn right one time in your copy and learn thank you